Hello everyone, it's Keely and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some signed books that I own. I'm going to go through probably 10. I do own quite a few. I have been lucky to be able to go to book signings and book festivals. I live in Texas so a lot of big book festivals happen here. So like I said, I have a lot so I'm just going to go through 10 in this video. I have made um, signed book collection videos before but those are since on private. I didn't keep up with them so I'm just kind of starting over clean slate um and this is not in any way bragging i just wanted to share my experiences um also so i can look back on these so let's get started the first one i have to show you is geekerella by ashley poston this is a cinderella retelling about a girl whose dad like started this huge convention like nerd out it's like kind of like a comic-con type thing and she um is obsessed with this one movie series that is getting a remake and she is not happy about who was cast in the movie um it's so cute i absolutely loved it um meeting ashley was really cool because me and her got to like geek out about everything and she was just really sweet so she signed in a purple pen and it just says to keely joe look to the stars heart ashley poston yeah, once again, she was really awesome, and I got to talk to her for a while. The next book I have here is When Dimple Met Rishi by Cindy Manun. This was really cool. I got to um, speak on a panel at the book festival the year that she was there, so I got to go to the author party and meet her and talk to her a lot beforehand. Um, so it was it was really cool. She signed my book and said, Keely Jo, Kismet and Kisses, Cindy Manun. Um, like I said, she was really nice. We got to talk about this huge witch that she bought for Halloween and what she should name it. So she was really cool. Love that. This next one I have signed is Winger by Andrew Smith. This is one of my favorite books when I read it and I absolutely loved it. Um, he just signed it to Keely Joe, Andrew Smith. Um, this is a duology if you haven't read it. It was popular on booktube a few years back. It takes place at a boarding school which is a lot of people's trigger words like I love boarding schools. Um, I really don't remember much about meeting him. It was really quick. It was one of the first book festivals I went to, so you didn't get to talk to them much, but he was really nice. I got to talk about how much I love this book and how I cried so much. <laughs> This next book is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. Um, I don't have a story to go along with this one because I bought it signed at the book festival. So I didn't get to meet her, but I did buy it signed. The next one I also bought signed and that is Mosquito Land by David Arnold. He was also at the book festival, so he had some signed copies for sale. The next book I have signed is The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. So a lot of this book takes place in an airport and it ends in London. So I got to talk with her about how this was kind of like my dream book and how I really want this to happen to me. Um, so she just signed it to Keely Joe, Happy Reading, Heart, Jen with a smiley face, and then like a more professional signature. Um, but yeah, she was really nice. Love this book. This next book is Happy Face by Stephen Emond, and this is a really bright book. I love this cover. It's so simple but cute. I bought this one signed at the book festival, um, so I didn't meet him, but I later got to talk to him on Twitter, and he was really cool. There's a lot of illustrations in this book, which are his own, so he wrote the book and illustrated. This next one I have a really cool story for, and that is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. So first let me show you the signature. It says, To Keely Joe, Enjoy Next Door, Huntley Fitzpatrick, which also I love her name. So the cool part about this was when she saw my name, she was like, my daughter's name is Keely. And I was like, what? That's really unusual because my name is kind of an unusual name and so instead of me asking if I could take a picture with her she was like can you come behind the table so I can take a picture with you so she took a picture with me on her phone so somewhere out there in the world there is a picture of me or at least there was on Huntley Fitzpatrick's phone which is really cool this next book is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. She was one of the first authors I ever met, um, so that was really cool. I was really nervous because she was one of my untouchable authors. I will make a video about some untouchable authors later. She just put For Keely Joe XX Gail Foreman. Um, it was really cool because I have one of the first editions. Um, they don't make this cover anymore, and so when I had it, I remember driving to the book festival and I told my mom, I was like, I really hope she comments on the fact that I have the old cover instead of like the new or movie cover. And she did when she saw it. She goes, oh, you have the old school cover. I love it. 
and that just made my day. And the last book I have to show you for this video is also very special, and that is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. He is a recent author that I met. Once again, I met him at the festival where I was on the panel for, so I got to meet him at the author party the night before, and we got to talk, and um, so he signed my book, Keely Joe, YouTube Life, Adam Silvera, with a smiley face right there, because we got to talk about my YouTube channel. He also has a Harry Potter tattoo, so we took a really cool uh, picture together with our Harry Potter tattoos. Um, but yeah, he was really nice. The next day when I got this book signed, he was like, Keely, and obviously he remembered me because he put YouTube life. Um, but yeah, that was really special. Love Adam Silvera so much. All right, so those are the 10 signed books that I have to show you for this video. Let me know down below if you have any cool author stories or what author you want to meet the most out of any author. Um, let me know if you do want me to make a video about my untouchable authors. I have a lot and I love to talk about them. They're very special to me. But thank you so much for watching. As always, my social media links will be down below and I will see you next time. Bye.